Project 170 is green and lots more. We will use the circuit right here, which includes the disco motor, the MPN transistor, and the green LED. We're going to turn on the slide switch, and let's see what happens. The green LED, as well as all the LEDs on the disco motor, light up. You, sh you could compare this circuit to that in Project 159, and here the current through the green LED is controlling the current through the LEDs on the disco motor using the MPN transistor, which is why all the LEDs on the disco motor are bright, like they are. I'm gonna quickly flip back to 159, and here the green LED is on, but not, but you cannot see it even in a dark room because of how dim it is. Project 171 is called red or yellow and lots more. You can you replace the green LED with either the red LED or the bicolor LED in either direction. Right now we have the yellow LED on and when we turn on the switch, all LEDs are lit. The MPN transistor has the same principle as in Project 170. I'm going to actually rotate it so you can see the effect of the red LED. And it's pretty much the same. Project 172 is called Vibrato 2. For this circuit, we have the U29 display and S8 module. We're going to turn on the slide switch and hit the A and C button so that the display says 21 and then hit the B button. Watch what happens. The number two, the tens digit, flashes on and off at varying speeds. This is very similar to the pre to previous projects where we use the LEDs and speaker and we got variations and changes of light and sound. Now as part of Project 173, which is called Vibrato 21, we are going to put another blue jumper wire between points A and B. Now the number one joins the fun. The digits alternate. One seventy four is random bicolor light. For this project, we are going to turn on the slide switch and select game three. Now every few seconds, the speaker will make three different sounds, one of three different sounds. The pattern on the U29 display will change, and so will the color of the bicolor LED. It will either be red, yellow, or off. Now sometimes, I may have mentioned this in at least one other project involving the bicolor LED, but when the colors are changing real quickly, they may appear to blend into orange. But my camera doesn't seem to pick that up. But you may notice that with your eyes. 175 is called random bicolor lights. This circuit is very similar to the previous one, but you can see that I added the red and green LEDs to the project. 
and watch what happens. Either the red or green LEDs will be on at one time. They will not be on to simultaneously, just like how the other bicolor LED will either be yellow or red when it is on. It will not be both colors. So you can pretend that that's a second, by, that the two, that the red and green LEDs are a second bicolor LED. Project 176 is called Arcade Blinking Display. We will turn on the slide switch and select game three. You could select game one or two if you want the patterns to switch at a slow rate, but I'm going to do, just do game three. And as you can see, the LEDs flash and the U29 display changes as well as the speaker making random noises every few seconds. But can you notice that the U29 display is blinking? Both digits are flashing at a steady rate, even though the patterns are completely random. For as part of project 177, I am going to disconnect one of these wires. And you will notice that only one of the digits actually blinks. The tens digit still blinks, while the ones digit does not. 178 is triple light blink one. For this project, we have all three LEDs along with the U29 display and speaker. We are going to select game three and let's see what happens. The LEDs come on and off at different rates and the U29 display pattern changes while the speaker sounds but only one of the two digits on the display will blink. And that is the tens digit. Project 179 is called Disco with Sound. We are using the disco motor, but we also have the, U uh, the U2 d uh, module and the speaker. We're going to turn on the slide switch and let's see what happens. The disco motor spins and lights up, but also a siren sound plays. Now, there are four variants that we can do by using a two snap wire with a one snap wire. We can do we can connect the speed, the, uh, we can make a fire engine sound with, uh, by putting the wire here. A machine gun sound. A European siren, although it doesn't work properly. Also, you can add one of the LEDs across points E and F. And it will give you a light effect, but the sound will not be as loud because the LED is drawing a lot of the current from the rest of the circuit. 184 is weird sound. This circuit may look a little similar to that in the previous five projects, but I have more components, including the two LEDs and a different wiring layout set up. Turn on the slide switch, and now the LEDs light and flash while the speaker makes a weird sound. In this instance, the sound, the alarm integrated circuit is controlling the flow of current to the rest of the circuit, so that's why all the LEDs blink. The red LED is not as bright as the others, 
So from a distance or in a bright room, it may appear to be off. And the disco cover might rotate as it is doing now. Now going right on to project 185, weird sound number two, we can place the red and yellow LED in either direction across these two points. Now it changes the sound a little bit. You'll notice that the intervals of the alarm are longer. The sound intervals are longer. And then for weird sound three, you're going to move the bicolor LED and place it across point C and D right here. We will use this extra two snap wire for support and place it in either direction. Now the intervals are shorter. Now the red LED is on, not the yellow one. And still, all the LEDs are flashing at a steady rate. 187 is called Thyristor Start Disco Ball. The name of this project sounds a bit complicated, but we are going to turn on the slide switch and you will get the explanation of this project soon. Nothing happens, but I'm going to hit and release the press switch. Now, the disco motor spins and lights up fully, as does the red LED. The green LED stays off. The transistors in this circuit act as a thrister by stable switch conducting electricity when their gate, or the left side of the Q2 transistor right here, is triggered by pushing the S2 switch. And it will continue to conduct current until the circuit is turned off. The green LED only lights when the press switch is held down. But you have to turn the slide switch off to reset the circuit. No matter how many times you hit the press switch in the circuit, the circuit is going to stay on until you deactivate the slide switch. 188 is start, stop, ball. Let's see what happens. Turn on the slide switch nothing. But the instructions want us to push any of the buttons on the S8 module and look what happens. The disco motor spins and the green LED lights up. The yellow and red LEDs do not. They're only activated by pushing the selected buttons. But what does S2 do? Well let's find out. It turns off the circuit when you hold it down for a second. Then you can start the circuit up again by pushing one of the selector module buttons. Turn it off. Now the green LED also lights up when the S2 sw uh, switch is pushed. Projects 189 through 191 are sound on by thrister. The slide switch is already on, but nothing happens. Forgot to put a two snap wire here, but hit the push switch and then the alarm will sound. The red LED will turn on too. Turn the switch off to reset the circuit. And then you have to hit the press switch again. Now for the variants, 190 and 191, you're going to use a two snap wire or, and a jumper wire. For 190, we'll use the two snap wire and insert it between these two points 
on the alarm and the delete circuit. Now we have a different sound. For 191, we are going to remove the two snap wire and place a blue jumper wire between points B and C. The sound isn't really right, but it's supposed to be the European siren. 